Hello loves, I thought I would show you a day where I prepare a barbecue for my family. So first up, I always do make dessert and I get it prepared first. This is apple pie cake. Basically get any boxed cake you want. I'm using vanilla over here. Add an extra egg and use milk instead of water. I actually didn't have milk, I had half and half and I used that and it worked out perfectly. Chop up the apples, about four or five of them. Add some cinnamon, sugar, lots of flour so they don't seep to the bottom while baking. Nutmeg and a teeny tiny bit of salt. Mix that all up. Put it in a sprayed pan. I always use Baker's Joy Spray. Now I didn't have time to make some caramel so I actually just used whatever leftover caramel I had. Unfortunately, I didn't have enough, but it's okay. Bake it in the oven at 325 for about 40 minutes. That's how long this needed. While that's baking, I'm gonna go ahead and start on the two types of salad I like to make. This is a badunas and basal salad or parsley and onion salad. You need a lot of parsley, either curly parsley or flat parsley. You see me using about five bushels of parsley here and I add water and vinegar because they hold a lot of dirt in the little nooks and crannies of their leaves. And this is a good way to get it all out. So I let them sit in there for a little bit, put some vinegar. While I'm waiting for that, I do scrub my vegetables because listen, listen. What I think about is somebody like who just itched their butt or picked their nose or even wiped their boogers without using a napkin. Then they went and touched all the produce to see which one's firm enough and which one's not to basically take home. So I think about all that stuff that's on it. And this is why I like to scrub my produce just to make sure it's extra clean. You can also wash them in vinegar and baking soda, but I just didn't have time. So for the first salad, let's do some ASMR. I'm gonna use about four ripe tomatoes and dice them up, but let's have you listen. Place them in a bowl and now get your onion. I just used half an onion for this. I used the other half for grilling purposes. While I'm waiting for the parsley to be clean, I'm starting on my second salad, which is going to include some tomatoes. Now I am cooking for a family of about 15 people. So I dice these up differently. I make them bigger pieces so that you can pick them up with a fork. I love the way the chopping sounds. So you saw cucumber and some lettuce. I added more lettuce, I just didn't include it in the video. Let's listen to the chop chop. So for the dressing for both of the salads, it's gonna be the same thing. You have some extra virgin olive oil. This is organic olive oil from the homeland. Be generous with it, maybe half a cup or so. I just eyeball it. About a lemon or two, depending on how lemony you like your salads. Now you can also do fresh garlic, but I just <laughs> feel like squeezing garlic. So I went ahead and I added uh, powdered garlic. And then I added mint, lots and lots of crushed mint. I added some mat. I'm not sure if that's what it's called in the English version or American version, but some mat. A bit of vinegar, not too much, just a tad, and lots and lots of salt. Do not mix it yet, mix it when the time comes. Now on to the first salad. This is pretty tedious work. I basically pluck off all of the leaves from the curly parsley. Yes, this does take forever, but the best part is chopping it. Are you guys ready? This is my favorite sound. And now the cake is finally done. It looks and smells so delicious and so fluffy. You can see it later. On to making fresh hummus. So I'm making double. I use two cans of chickpeas. I drain the water and wash them and put them in the blender. 
I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons of sour cream. You're supposed to add laban or kind of like yogurt, but sour cream works out fine too. And then I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons of tahini sauce. You can kind of find that at like the Mediterranean section if you have one. And then after that, I'm going to squeeze one lemon. Actually make that two because I did make two batches. Add some couple cloves of garlic. Now you're supposed to add some ice, but my freezer isn't working. They're coming tomorrow to fix it. So I just put water. This is to help make it liquidy. I don't know why ice at first, but water worked out fine. Not sure if I mentioned salt, but also add salt. And then pulse it and then mix well for like five minutes until it's a nice smooth creamy texture. It's actually super, super easy and very yummy. So I put them in two plates and I add a little bit of paprika on top of each one just to make it all fancy, you know, like a restaurant style. Who am I kidding? The ones at the restaurant look great. But anywho, it's okay. I throw a little bit of that chopped parsley that I made from before on top of them just for that extra touch. And then drizzle some olive oil as well and you have your homemade hummus all ready to go. And now on to the absolute worst part of the entire thing. Putting the meat on skewers. This is 10 pounds of meat, okay? 10 pounds. I don't eat meat, guys. I'm a pescatarian. I eat seafood. I don't eat meat or chicken. I've been that way since I was 12. My mother used to force me until eventually I told her enough. I really can't. I don't like the taste of it. But I have to make it for the family. They do love to eat meat. What I didn't show you is I also used two pounds of chicken as well. And we have some hot dogs for the kids. And now on to the chaoticness of what a family barbecue looks like here in our house. Yeah, it's from Walmart. Uh, it it's apple, apple pie cake. We're going to eat it with some butter. I might try it. I do like apple. You're going to get yourself a I do like apple. I'm going to try it. 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 I'm going to try it.